Hello everybody, it's your boy Narlton here, back at you with another Mountain Blade Warband video, uh, wow, Bannerlord video. Uh, I guess I was just thinking about the game quite a bit, so a couple things changed, not too much, did some grinding offline, and what was it, that village that I got screwed over? I don't remember, um, but either way, I, I did some grinding, leveled up a little, and now we're back, I actually have steady-ish income, just gotta manage that, and whatnot, so yeah, I guess I may as well just start off into this. My plan is to start catching small groups of people from one of these factions. Actually, uh, I'd rather fight over here. Because they get kind of scary over that way. They keep throwing armies of like 800 over this way and I don't really want to fight that. I don't want to fight you either. Everybody's too large. Ah. Oh, looters. Alright. So yeah, th um, not too much changed. I did technically talk to a couple people for what was it oh yeah the, the main quest land uh quest Nezrat's folly or whatever wait was that Nezrat's folly yeah no yes oh my, my brain's kind of fried Let's see here quest yeah Nezrat's folly so yeah i had talked to lucon and elec which lucon is technically the leader of the faction the northern empire which is kind of handy See what we got going on here. But mostly I've been running around smacking these guys because for some reason, the only time you get paid, which speaking of that, they upgraded the mercenary contract to 300 gold, which is kind of cool. The problem is influence. If you have any less than five, it will not pay you your wage, which I think is kind of bogus because as long as there's influence, you should be paid, but that's apparently how they run it. However, I am now stably able to hold 35 plus people at, what's my current speed? Oh, 3.9 because I'm in a forest. But I can usually keep, ah, did I mean to do that? Oh, please don't go bad. Okay. Yeah, last time I did that, I had like five people die. And that's not good to ever have. But yeah, I now have a much more stable army and everything too than what I previously had. I realized I had a really dumb sort of set of... No, little, 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 ah, little militia I was running. After all, you can't really call 35 people an army. Uh, there's just one... Uh, something I wish I could do, though, which would actually help strengthen me, is these um, caravans. I want to smack them. I know I could kill them. They're only 40 people. But the problem is, you lose... What is it? C... Yeah, you lose stuff like this. I think I'd probably lose honor, maybe merciful if I did that, even though it doesn't really do much. Oh, wait, oh, I gotta level up? Oh, I did. Even though I don't use bows anymore. Actually, the bows increased. Sure. And the reason I say that doesn't really change is if I go over to inventory. Oh, yeah, apply. I found it. They actually did change the game. You can now buy light crossbows in the store. And I happened to catch a couple of tournament bolts while I was starting to get, uh, building up money. I basically had to just 1v5 some looters, get enough to get a couple people, and just slowly build up from there. But yeah, I'm now running a crossbow. I just need to save up 14,000 or so for the hickory crossbow, I think it is. Which will be nice. There's obviously some negatives to it. Ooh, mountain bandits, I'll fight you. Join Northern Empire. There's a lot of people joining the Northern Empire. So I have a feeling I might have joined the Snowball group. Which could be bad. Oh, and another thing that I've changed, which I'm going to hit attack, and you should be able to hear this, is the audio. I believe I have this set a little better. So I'm going to actually speak while Weapon, I have this going on. Move, and I should be a lot more audible now. Infantry, make a shield wall oh wait, is this the really spot I want to fight in? That is not. Eh... At least they're able to sort of shoot. Wait, mounted? When did bandits have mounts? Huh. Can y'all at least shoot it? Please? Highwayman has knocked out two sturgeon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, finally I hit somebody. I'm still working on my accuracy. It's kind of garbage. But progress is being made. Ow. That really hurt. You. Okay, we just lost a couple Imperial recruits. You know, that happens. So they're knocked out. Oh. 
Man, I wasn't paying attention. Got another recruit dead. Another recruit dead. Man, my recruits suck. Another recruit dead. Man. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a cool feature on this. You can hit this little button here and it fast forwards the whole game. Yay, Renowned one Oh, speaking of that, we're almost to an upgraded level. Capture the prisoners. Uh, ooh. You know what? YOLO. Grab everybody. Just throw a couple more archers to compensate for the buff in the military. Alright. And I'll sort through that in a minute. So, if I go over to clan, we're actually getting pretty close to level 2. The important part of this is because eligible for becoming a vassal. Of course, you gain the 15 party size, the additional companion limit, and stuff like that. But it means I can actually join the Northern Empire as something other than a mercenary. Could possibly obtain some land. And that is going to be oh so handy. I guess I'm going to basically fast forward to a, just a shop real quick and I'm going to sell. And I'll probably speed around until I get another fight. This is probably going to be another heavily combat based video, but we'll see how that goes. Ooh. Created an army. May even have a siege in it this time instead of the flop that was last time. Ooh, never mind. That's a little far away. I am not heading towards that. Unless... Traveling to, uh, now. Yep, surrender die. Send troops. Whoa, who died? Oh, Sergian peasant. I guess I can't do that to the bandits either. What the hell? I will say there's one thing I think is pretty cool with what's been going on with like how I've been playing is I haven't bought food in probably in real life an hour or so because I actually did prepare for the first time I've actually done about an hour or so of gameplay instead of like 10 minutes before recording which I'm probably gonna start improving that a little bit after I gotta start building relations with these people so I can get better recruits than like that listing anyways I haven't been able. I haven't paid for food in a while because looters keep giving me food. Uh, in rare cases, stuff like meat, but typically they give me grain, cheese, wine, and a couple of people I had fought gave me like a cow. Just pretty handy. Oh, I'll be honest. We don't want to. We don't want to die. We'd like to take us on as fi hired fighters. That way, everyone gets what they want. Yeah, no. You think I'm daft? Now I'm not trusting you an inch. Right then, I'll make you bleed before I go down. Gotcha. Oh, so that's a, that's a pretty cool feature, though. That there is actually sort of a surrender mechanic that can happen. I've only really experienced it on looters, though. I don't think vassals can actually do that. But if they can, that'd be pretty cool. I know I've never experienced it, though. You're gonna suck to fight, but hey. I gotta have some, some sort of action in this video. Alright, is the train at least half decent? Uh, not really, but sort of. Soldiers! Soldiers go here, oh, stand closer, archer archers, Everyone? switch to my crossbow, and ooh, already seeing arrows hit here. Come on guys, fire. What you waiting on? You see the arrows hitting your feet? Come on. 
I can't fire that far because I have horrible accuracy myself. Hey, stop firing at me, buggers. Where you at? Oh, I even hit somebody. <laughs> oh, I even got another one. Nice. Ah, but I missed the third one. Oh, I only just realized when I told them to do a shield wall, they actually build a shield wall. These recruits are getting destroyed, though. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I was. I did technically swap out my uh, my shield because I like to have double the amount of ammo, but I might have to change that strat up a little bit for fights like this. Everybody just struggles at this point. Ha! Ah, I got someone as I died with a headshot. Eat that, you buggers. Okay, so the reason I do that is because typically in a siege, I want to have as much ammo as I can so I can pick off the archers, whatever happens to be on the wall. The problem is, if I'm in a fight like this, where I'm going to be experiencing the basically the walls of arrows flying at you, that means that I am very vulnerable. There's always one of recruits. Okay, yeah, basically recruits. And... I may actually have to start holding on to a shield at some point that I'll equip before a fight like this. After all, you can prepare for these kind of fights for the most part. But uh, let's see about that later on to adapt that. Ooh, and I have a little thing up here. Wondering what leveled up. Character. Nothing. Oh, crossbow. Sweet. I already have the 10% faster reload now it's 15 percent supposedly i do say supposedly because i do know when this game launched and even a couple updates in everybody was complaining that these don't work none of these traits on any of them work so we'll have to see if they actually do anything and i think they added a couple more but i could be wrong wait what plus five food in grassland wait you can hunt uh two-handed so I still don't have a two-hander. Oh, wow. No wonder my athletics has not been going up. That'll be kind of handy. Alright, well. Okay, it's usually just a quick scroll. You decide what all is better. You swap it out. So something I was curious about, is this coincidence? It is not. Because I was going to say, help wounded soldiers heal in settlements. That's the only way to earn it? Okay. So let's see what we got here. Increase character healing rate by 10% or increase character hit points by 10. Um, I'd rather heal a little faster. The thing I want to know is, are any of these surgery? Embedded weapons. So basically just help soldiers heal. That's, oh, no, yeah, what does it all do? Healing rate, healing rate, survival chance. Surgeon, so yeah. Bonus healing rate. Uh, man, that's one thing I really miss is from Mountain Blade Banner, or War, yeah, Warband, you have the ability to have a surgery trait. Which you had the base stat that went up to like 10 or something, which increased you to 50. I think the maximum you can get was around 50-60% surgery, I think. Because how it worked was you had the initial surgery stat, then it increased up by a certain amount, I think maximum of 3 or 4, based off of your own stat, which meant you had a pretty decent survival chance, and also I think difficulty impacted, but, you know... But you don't have that. Uh, can I have my grain back, please? I don't really want to give that to you. And that's another handy feature. You now have reset. That was not in Warband. That was such a pain. You accidentally click something. Now you got to figure out what it was that you had clicked. And you can never really find it. So you usually had to accidentally sell it. That was always fun. Oh, wait, hold on. I have eight grand. Anybody in the tavern? Check, check the she-wolf. I do know I talked to you earlier, I don't, I, but I remember I didn't have the money. Yes, let's talk. Been a while. Can I hire you? 2400 Sure. Well, now I got more people. Which is kind of neat. Uh, we at our limit yet? Back to town center, yada yada. 
party. So yeah, now we have two people. We're kicking it. And oh no, actually we could have two more companions. Which companions are very... Oh, that's why I did forget to set something. Clan. So you are... Oh, do I have to be in this set? Do you want to resolve? No. I'm a mercenary. I ain't gonna vote on anything. Why can't I assign you guys? Hold on, am I, am I being dumb? Or am I missing something? Other... I should be able to assign you to something. Additional. Eligible. I guess maybe I don't have it unlocked yet. I don't know. But I could have sworn you could put... Um, sort of roles. There was Quartermaster and something else. Let's see if I can just view myself. Do I have anything like that on me? No. Anything new in clan? No? I must be messing something up. Either that or I haven't unlocked the feature yet. It also could have just been the save broke. Who knows? Hopefully not the save though. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna gather some people and I guess what I'm gonna do is, cause let's see how close am I... Okay, I'm gonna try to hit at least clan 2 in this video which should be pretty quick actually. But I'm also gonna try to max out my current party size. Problem is, around here there's a lot of war parties being made, so a lot of these locations have been drained of all their troops. Ooh, daily change 76. That means I'm getting pretty expensive. Yikes. So much faster than the other. Yep, fight. Maybe I'll see one guy. Uh, I'm not gonna trust you in it. Just wait. Yep, take one, leave four, go down. Come on, bro. All it takes is one click and you're there. Oh, wait, you survived. Who am I gonna party? Peace of the Western Empire. Oh, well, that's a lot of change there. Oh, that's because I can't be party, so I captured. Ah, beach, oh, it's already been hit. Hey, yo, come here. I said, come here. Oh, 
Vamos. There we go. Oh, uh, what's new? And yeah, there we go. I am finally maxed on troops, and my official speed without any loot in my inventory is 5.5. Thanks to all these beautiful horses that I've obtained slowly over time. Uh, where are we down? Where are we down? Oh, cool. We're ready. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I guess, is try to get some fighting. It's not as eventful as I hoped, but, you know, especially considering my size, I just can't fight most people, knowing that I have quite a lot of recruit people. Hurry, party. Who the hell are you? Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, we got eight people now. And centers. Good to see you here. Yep. Oh, I gained a point. It's not 72. Hey. I'm popping off. Yeah. This is what going on. Pretty close to leveling up. Yeah, I'm flying away. I need to find a couple decent sized fights. Change. What? Oh, wait, no, 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 I press, no, press enter. Gold change, negative 304, right? Oh, because I guess for some reason my influence didn't work right. What? I bet I'll be able to go through. And he's got that. And I saw the looter's escape. What a loser. Imagine not being able to have As a party five times his size. This thing actually a decent size fight, though. And he's four renowned. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take a risk. Is this uh, the narrative? Yep. No, fine, I'll change it up then. It's only fault to attack. I'll take it on Hydeau. I did change, uh, I was expecting some past notes. I did it change how Hydeau's work? Or sort of. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, sir? Chasing down Minos. Cool. Can you, like, uh, oh, please? I have too many recruits to be trying to mess with you. However, the loot I can get from this should be fairly handy. Uh, I think the stat strat is to follow and we poke them down. I think. Ha! Get hit. There we go. Hey, but yeah, anyways, they changed how it works. It made it to where they can sort of move around instead of constantly all hoarding up into the same one. It also meant, I think, there's a chance of them leaving. Could be wrong on that part, though. They basically changed the algorithm with how they move around and whatnot when it comes to those, which is kind of handy. Because you know what's fun to beat? A forest bandit camp. Because all they have are bows, pretty much. Or at least that's all you experience. You try walking up to them, turn into a pin cushion, and then it's pretty much over for you and your whole crew. Now technically what I'm doing is kind of exploiting-ish, but I mean it is what it is. Let's just call it tactics. Ooh. That got pretty close. But my accuracy is getting better. And then I missed the next shot I take right after saying that and the next one can you guys throw anything please I know some of you guys have throwing spears like come on or javelins all right can I tell you guys to stand closer did you guys actually do anything I don't think so yeah this one may seem a little boring but hey at least it looks different but that's because there's not really much action. It's just the way it plays. It's kind of weird. And also, I love these death animations now. Instead of just the basic ragdoll, you can have guys like sort of flying backwards ish from a crossbow. But, anyways, um, it's the weirdness of the fact that when you're engaging, nobody really gets attracted except for. Okay, an example this right here, right? That would be. The whole circle around it would be its own little spawn area, and anything that happens to alert anybody from that section, will everybody from there will be attacking you. But every other section, there's no impacts on it, which makes it kind of this very cheesy. Can you get your icons out the way, sir? Fine, I'll play in first person. As someone walks right in front of me, idiots. Yeah, it sort of takes the fun out of it. Oh, I think this group did somehow get alerted. Why are you guys still not firing? You're telling me you don't have any javelins. Oh. Come on, you idiot swing or something. Oh, wait, what? Ah. Alright, so that's over. Oh, Mountain Bandit Boss. Damn, five athletics? You suck, fatherless. 
You, you cut quite a swath through the men there. Yep. I don't fight duels with brigands. I ain't gonna take you on one on one. -on -one. Screw you, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, see? My blocking could use a little bit better. Charge! Charge! They kept my, uh... Follow command or something. Yeah, I could work on my combat a little bit. Die, sir. There we go. Victory! Three renown. Alright. Getting very close. Oh, we had a death. Man. Oh well. I guess I'll replace you with a Batania peasant. Relation increased to nearby nobles. Ah, get away, get away, get away. I don't want to fight you. You're too big. Sucker. Did it happen? Hey! I am now officially a clan tier 2. So, if I upgrade it to clan tier 3, I'll gain another clan party limit, one more companion limit, 15 more party size, and the ability to create my own kingdom. Alright, and I'm still not seeing the other thing. So, don't know what that one's about. But hey, that means I could find... Hey, do I have to, do I have to talk to the king or do I have to talk to you? No, I am not going to help defend. Ah, man. Steward went up. Okay. I'll figure this out in a second. I want to clear up my inventory. Okay, so I guess just to be careful, I'll talk to the king which is Lucon, last seen near this place. Oh. Okay, this is not too far away, I guess. Because I think it'd be better to just talk to him instead. See, up, oh, yep, there he is. I guess take that off. It's been a while, yep. Something I'd like to discuss. I will, uh... Wish me more than a mercenary. I wish I could pledge myself as a vassal. Hey, you know me as a brave warrior. All right, I am ready. Oh, what? What is? Oh, this is yellow. Yep, I swear. I affirm. Furthermore, yep, I join you. Worcestershire has ended its mercenary contract and became a thing. Okay. Yep, I thank you, my lord. Now, just one thing I hope that does not happen. Because they made me really mad, and I sort of destroyed them for this. Which is... Ooh, hold on, what's this here? What are you? Oh, villagers. Now nah, I'm not going to fight villagers. Alright, so just going to talk about this real quick. Is when I played my first playthrough, I'm like, oh, cool, yeah, I'll join a faction. They'll give me a piece of land, because that's what I'm used to from, from Warband and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. I join, I get no land. I'm like, uh, that kind of sucks, but, you know, maybe it's because the... No land sharing. And so I, I stuck with them whatnot. Went through a few votes and got no land still. I'm like, okay. That kind of sucks, but maybe you have to get majority vote. So what did I do? I convinced 
some people to vote for me, and I had 90-something percent vote George! majority for this castle. Just a castle, because apparently you cannot own a straight-up village. You basically own either the castle or the town, and then you technically own all the villages by default by whatever you own. So, well, I got that. I'm like, okay, sweet. That means I got it. Well, when the vote changed... The king said, nope, it's mine, even though nobody voted for him except himself. I was kind of petty, made me mad, joined my own faction, and slaughtered them one by one. And I was not happy at all with that, and I'm hoping we don't get a repeat of that, but hey, we'll see. Depends on how well they treat us over time. Alright, this is already won. So just like, oh, I can't speed it up while I'm alive. Wait, who died? Oh, a piece of the militia died. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be the end of it. Obviously, we won this fight. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, do let me know how you guys feel about the editing style I've been doing. Instead of jumping over to each part, I've been fast-forwarding. I'm going to give it a couple more test videos, see how I personally feel about it as well. But, to be honest, your guys' opinion on that matters a little more. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah, if, if you liked it, you know what to do. Um, subscribe and whatnot, and you have a good day. Peace.